Menace's Cooking Corner, and once again, I have Jeff from JW Catering, jwcatering.com. He's going to show us how to do another meal, and uh, apparently this is going to be Ravy's favorite meal, right? This, this is ahi tartar. It's raw okay. tuna marinated in soy and ginger. Requires zero cooking. It's knife skills. It's plating. It's about a five-minute prep up from start to finish, and if you have a few simple ingredients around the house with some fresh ahi tuna, you can mm. dazzle your guests awesome. and look like a champ. It looks like you've hired me, but we never actually showed up. <laughs> so don't pay too much attention, but just sort of get the idea. Okay. So it's important with this dish to start with the best ingredients you possibly can. Obviously, it's a shimmy grade ahi tuna. Mm -hmm. uh, in the storage, you'll see this is ahi 2 or 2 plus, and you want a nice bright red or pink piece of ahi, no brown mm -hmm. on the side. If you see brown, that's a bloodline. You don't want to eat that. Okay. Uh, then we start with a little bit of fresh ginger, mm -hmm. which will break down. Uh, soy, and again, a high-quality soy sauce. We don't want something with a lot of salt added. You want to see soybean as your first ingredient. Second ingredient we're going to bring in is green onion. A uh, nice chopped green onion, and then some sesame oil, mm -hmm. garlic, chopped finely, and some cilantro. You'll also need one English cucumber. All right. A good knife. A I'm sure Ravy would like that. I am, yeah, absolutely. Okay. This is for you, Ravy. <laughs> and so a very simple dish, what we're going to do is make sure you have one nice mixing bowl. Stainless okay. steel will work fine if you have plastic, ceramic, or something else. Now, now I'll be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of tuna. I'm going to make you a fan. Okay. I'm going to make you a fan. So a sharp knife, again, fingers in the, the claw position so we don't cut off fingers. Okay. And just cutting... Pieces like you find in oh, sushi like restaurant. Yeah, it's just sushi. like sushi. So we'll cut about three or four pieces of this. And again, this is not really an entree, uh, more of an appetizer. So mm -hmm. if you start with about four pieces of ahi, we'll retain that for later. We've cut that. They'll stack nicely on top of each other. And just one slice down the center, lengthwise. Again, watching out for fingers. And you've got nice julienne pieces of ahi tuna. Take those, and we're going to cut them one more time. Again, just keeping your fingers away from the tuna because you don't want to add something that your guests don't want to eat. Yeah. We'll take that, and nice big piece of ahi straight into our mixing bowl. It kind of looks like watermelon, actually. It, it looks like Play-Doh. So we'll start with a little bit of fresh cilantro, chopped finely. Add a little bit of garlic. And if you're not going to chop your own garlic, you can buy this pre-chopped in the grocery store. Right. You want to add a little bit of sesame oil. And as we said earlier, pure sesame oil. Just about, oh, yay much, maybe two tablespoons for those of you that want to be precise on your numbers. Some chopped green onion. Right. Some soy sauce. And Menace, if you'd be so kind, to oh, put a little soy dude, sauce in there. You don't understand how much I love soy sauce. I put soy sauce on everything, like rice, you know, steak, whatever. So soy matter. sauce and cheese omelet yeah. would be right up your alley. Oh, cheese dude, I, and soy, we're, we're happy. I'll put, I put soy sauce on my cereal. That's how much I love it. All right. Things we will not be covering <laughs> on our next episode of The Cooking Corner. Uh, okay. So how much should I pour in? Uh, just thing? about two tablespoons. About the same amount as the sesame oil. Equal okay. proportions. So keep going, going. Keep going. Stop. All right. Okay. And I'll, I'll be honest with you. You still haven't won me over. I don't know if I want to. We'll get there. Okay. All right. <laughs> the last item is just a little bit of fresh ginger. Mm -hmm. And while we're looking at ginger, that's been pre-chopped ahead of time. If you start with ginger, the, the easiest way to save yourself time in cooking ginger is cheap. Okay. So when you're going to play with ginger, just cut off a piece mm -hmm. and just square off your sides. Four chops, mm -hmm. and you're left with the center. All right. Maybe five chops. You want to take that end off. So just... Cheese. Yeah, careful with the fingers, <laughs> and then just chop. You've got some ginger, mm -hmm. and then you know, put all the big pieces in there, and just chop it one more time. Keep pushing your pieces of ginger together, keep chopping, and then you've got chopped ginger. <laughs> but we've already got that. So, we put all of our ingredients together in a bowl, and we are 90% of the way done now. Okay. We're just going to mix that, and again, mm -hmm. depending on your preference for soy, you can go heavier or lighter. The soy all and the right. sesame are really your flavoring agents here. Now, some folks will add red pepper to this. Folks from the Hawaiian Islands like to add red pepper to their poke. All right. Uh, so we let that sit. Now, typically you want to let this sit for about 30 minutes before service. Okay. So as I said, the other ingredient we're using, mm -hmm. this is our, our presentation vessel, if you will, mm -hmm. is an English cucumber. I like to take just a regular vegetable peeler, peel three sides of the cucumber. This will give us a little bit of plate appeal. Okay. So we've cleaned up our cucumber. Uh give your knife, if you've used it for, for chop purposes, a quick wipe, and then we're going to slice on the diagonal. We'll All right. Discard that, and just 
quarter inch slices and you have a beautifully scored cucumber. That looks nice. So if we take our plate for service, mm -hmm. line these up on the diagonal, maybe five or six pieces of the plate. If you have a larger plate, of course, we can go bigger. If you have a smaller plate, you go smaller. And then we're just going to put the ahi on top of the plate. OK. OK, so we'll give our ahi one last stir. All right. And don't pay any attention to the extra liquid in the bottom. We're not going to use that. But the ahi at this point has marinated. It's absorbed some of the flavors. And then just a fork. This goes right onto the cucumber. That does look nice. nice now. Bright pieces of ahi. On top of some green chilled cucumber. And you're more or less ready for a taste of the Hawaiian Islands. Mm. All right. And that is ahi tartare or poke. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give it the, the test. Let's see. Mm. That's actually good. Go figure. It's got <laughs> soy. Yeah. If it had cheese, it would be better, wouldn't it? Oh, my God. I seriously haven't ate tuna since I was like... Three years old. Right. This was <laughs> not that tuna. Yeah. That's out of a can. Oh, okay. This is, this is fresh. This, this is, is like good stuff. This is the good stuff. Okay. Well, I'd like to thank you once again. It's a Masses Cooking Corner, and I have Jeff from JW Catering, jwcatering.com. I'd like to thank you. And uh, make sure to check back next week here on live105.com for another edition of the Menace Cooking Corner. Okay.